Leone wanders east to west, north to south, and field to table in search of the experiences most of us can only dream of. These are the chronicles of his search to discover places that have stood the test of time. Follow along as he explores the places, the traditions, and the people that turn an adventure into a story worth telling. Welcome to Ramble On with Brad Leone. Hey guys, I'm Brad Leone and I'm teaming up with the folks from Huckberry out here in beautiful Wyoming, right outside of Sheridan. What originally drew me to this place was the amazing fly fishing for trout. Gotcha. Fuck that, don't get old. It really kind of blew me away with the natural beauty, but then also what makes this town like a time capsule of the past. Digging into some of the people that kind of kept that heritage alive, the spirit of what makes this place so special, still present. Really excited to learn about it and get my hands dirty and maybe even catch some fish. So glad you guys can join me, let's go. Sheridan was founded in 1882, the same year outlaw Jesse James was shot. Future president FDR was born, and Thomas Edison flipped the on switch to the first commercial power plant. A lot has changed since 1882, but maybe not as much in Sheridan as other places. Cowboy, you've definitely heard of King Ropes and Saddlery. Everything they make here is still true to how they made things when they started up half a century ago. Brad is meeting up with Ryan to show us how he gets his hands dirty on the job. How long has this been an establishment? You so, know, uh, we started in 1961. My grandfather started doing the ropes, and then the leather work was also involved. In fact, down in this basement down here is where. We originally started stretching ropes. Exactly. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it, man, from the ropes yeah. to, to banging out a wallet with you. You bet. Uh, yeah, put me to work. Show me around. Okay. He can be, He's good. He can be right. a handful. Well, we all can, Rock. <laughs> I mean, look at all this. It's like you can do any like surgery down here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of little little pieces of the puzzle. Sure. Here, so. How many of these wallets do you think you've, you've made? We're really close to probably 5,000 or more. Yeah. So. I've been doing this for how long? For like 20 years. Yeah. King Family Leatherwork has become known as Sheridan style, with their designs emulated and imitated around the world. I love how all your tools are like the kind of stuff that like I love finding at like a thrift store or like at some garage right. sale. Where, like, <laughs> some old lady, like the, the old man died and all her tools. Like this thing's been like used for 50 years and right. like priceless. It's like, ah, give me a dollar. Yeah, I know. Who knows what they it all look like, but it yeah. was, It's incredible. If, if it was uh, the best stuff. Yep. Holy Christ. You can, uh, yeah, you can, you can stitch you your ass up real quick. Yeah. Dude, this thing's a workhorse though, huh? Yeah. It's, it's ready to go. This is the best machine I think we've got in this building. The old singer. What an art, you know what I mean? It's taken me this long to get get to where I am. Sure. Right? To make them look easy, you gotta do a few thousand. So. This thing will probably age great, right? Yeah, it'll uh, That's get so nice, nice, about nice and rich on you once yeah. your hand oils and all that stuff get. It's proper patina. Yeah, that dry up, nice. Yeah. Well, fantastic, that's it then. That's it, throw yeah. that one in your pocket. Oh, thanks man, appreciate yeah. it. Thank no you, thank yeah. you. Right on, look at that thing. The King family holds their rope-making recipe pretty close to the chest, but they were nice enough to give a peek behind the curtain. Colton showed Brad it's all about the stretch and the spin. These ropes are known for their strength, durability, and rodeo-worthy quality. Gary's the Hondu guy, huh? No yeah. one puts in a Hondu like Gary here. I think Gary's been here 47 years. Do this with his eyes closed, I bet. Yeah, and then he uses that wheel to, to pull that oh, wow. knot tight. And that thing, you can beat the hell out of that. I mean, that's a working rope. I can't, I can't wear these back home. I get my ass kicked wearing something like this back home. <laughs> oh, God. Wild trout. This is what brought Brad here in the first place. Wyoming may have fewer people than any other state, but it's got a hell of a lot of trout. Before he heads into the backcountry, 
Bread needs to match the hatch. On the top is also a, a, a hydrophobic material that will repel water and give you some, some visual cues at 40 feet away. Sure, because that's it, and fish is seeing that. Correct. And, and that you're little, seeing the white on the top. And that's our little indicator. Come on. Looks like a bug. Looks like a bug. Get that floating down there. Totally. Right behind that little eddy. Gulp city, bud. There you go. Fly tying. One I can't even tell the difference. No, I'm just kidding. It'll work, man. I like it. Maybe we a want those. Shorter? We want those legs moving action. in the water, so it looks like that hopper's trying, trying to survive. Kick, get kick out. Off of yeah, water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Now you're done. You made a hopper. Brad's first hopper. We may not sell yours in the fly shop. But right, right. We can, sell it, we can sell it to a fish. Go yeah. bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point, yeah. though. <laughs> Within minutes of Sheridan, there are hundreds of streams and creeks chock full of trout. Because there's so few people, the fishing pressure is low. So even though he's an amateur fly fisherman, his odds are pretty good. It's like fucking Mars down here, man, with sagebrush. Look at that thing. Is that what's making that noise flying around? Yeah, clickers. Clickers? Yeah. Put a hook in them, bud. Ready? Yeah, right. Not today. Fish eat that thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do fish drink water? They might. I mean, they they must consume water. They consume the oxygen in the water. But are they also swallowing? They must be swallowing something to the, their digestive system, not just their respiratory system. You know, I don't know if they come on, man. Swallow any of it, but. <laughs> they got it, right? When they sure, go, I would think. Whack down a bug, you're getting a little, you know, they're, they're probably drinking as they eat. To a certain point, yes. Do I think they take massive mouthfuls of water just because they're thirsty? No. No. That's what I'm saying. Life keeps them hydrated. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Glad we figured that out. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good meeting, man. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of you with that. That's the shot. Oh, that's the shot, bud. That's going on the fridge. Beautiful. Never do it again. Oh, never do that again. You learned once. Different sizes. So, like, I just do classic knot here, and everyone does more, like, dangles on a loop. I mean, we could do a loop knot. What do you do? I do a Davy knot. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I can't keep up with the knots and the fly names. I'll give it a shot. That's a good I'm like place. nervous. It's a good place to start. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> good shot, right there. A little longer strips. Yep. Nice. Okay, don't strip anymore. Just use your rod length and put it right over my head. Here you go. <laughs> Look at that little beaut, huh? A little rainbow? You got a rainbow. Gorgeous color on it, huh? Beauty. Yeah. You no touch? No, uh, you can wet your hands and let it go. I don't want to stress them out too much, right? They're healthy. <laughs> All right, man. Even that cast felt good. Even the fish knew the cast was better. Right. It's like, oh, that guy was relaxed on that right. one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that one. We're gonna reward him. Yeah. It's nice being here, with, you know, with Cole. He knows, he knows the river, knows the fish, you know, knows what to throw. Teaching me how to cast proper it really makes worlds of difference. Make sure we get a photo of this. Let's net this one. This one's gonna be huge. This is a wild, wild oak trout. <laughs> Are we gonna need a gas. Yeah. All right, all right. Nice. Let me get some pliers. All right, ready? Hold on. By the belly. By the belly. 
After a day of adventure, the guides have easily earned their tips in the form of a home-cooked meal. Since the trout were catch and release only, Brad got his hands on some local game meat recently harvested nearby. We got some really amazing wild elk meat just that was harvested around these areas. And, uh, you know, I got some samari and some brown sugar, using it as a little bit of a marinade kind of rub. And I'm just gonna kind of riff on that, make a little slaw with it. We're gonna make some little mountainside elk tacos in the worst location probably in the world. We got our meat sitting for a while, our cabbage is on. Let's get this meat on the grill, get it cooking, and uh, let's, get, let's get dinner going. For me, I kind of like wild game sliced on the thinner side as opposed to like, you know, a big, thick kind of a ribeye cut. And I'm just gonna flip these again real quick and put a little bit of that brown sugar and tamari on both sides. We got our cabbage charred up, cooked, but still, you know, relatively raw, crunchy on the inside. We got a nice little camp to feed here. Oh, oh you like that elk, don't ya? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, bud. We'll save you a little bit, I promise, okay? Unless you have dietary issues, which I doubt. And I'm gonna give it a little, little hit of the little tamari, a little wheat-free show you. And that's gonna add a little more salt that we needed, and a little more umami. And I'm also gonna give it a little bit of hot sauce. Cap off the trip, Brad heads to a local watering hole that's been serving Sheridan since 1907, when its original patrons were cowboys and its employees paid in whiskey. It's the oldest bar in the state. And yes, even Hemingway used to gamble in the back room of the bar. Well, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. Hey, Brad Leone. Cat D, it's nice to meet you. That's a strong name. Thanks, thanks for having us. So tell me a little bit about this place. And the bar itself has been voted one of the top historic and one of the top Western bars in the country. We okay. are 115 years old this year. I can imagine these walls, you can look around and this place is like almost a museum as much of a bar. And like, I can imagine these walls could talk, you know, like the things that have, and the people that have come through here. There's a lot of people that would probably pay off the walls not to talk <laughs> in here. I can say that for sure. Yeah. I've worked here long enough that I have chased cowboys out of the bar riding off on their porch. Come on. They got a couple um, drinks, they come in hot. Wyoming passed a law saying you can no longer get a DUI on a horse a couple years ago. So because if you let go of the reins, you're not the driver. And if come your on. horse knows best, it's gonna take you home. So. Damn, they gotta pass that ball back home. I'll tell you what, I'll get a horse real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Autopilot, Tesla ain't got shit on a horse. <laughs> And if you look kind of when you first walk in, the ceiling does have a bunch of bolt holes that have been filled in. Come on. So Just people taking crap shots at it? We do you live cut in the me West. Off, pow! <laughs> we do live in the West. Yeah, so. heck yeah. And I'm sure none of them are new. I know one gentleman was shot walking through the door. He I... earned it, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know the backstory, but he freaking earned it. <laughs> From the cowboy culture, to the trout-filled streams, to the people that live its traditions every day, Sheridan is a true gem of the American West. <laughs> oh, that's a shot. That's the best trout I've ever done. It really hasn't changed much since 1882, and like Brad, we all hope it stays that way. Because it heralds a slower, simpler time of things made by hand crickety western saloons, and happy wild trout.